All right, just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to make that change that you uh, were having some problems with. Uh, the first thing you want to do is come to your G drive. Uh, right now, this this is my G drive, uh, pretty much the same as yours. But what you want to do is um, go into Hyperspin Live, go into Emulators, and um, you want to look for the Mame Tool One folder. All of the Mame games are playing are using the uh, Mame Tool One directory and they're using uh, MAME.exe so you wanna you wanna um, well first I'll just show you what's happening right so in this example you're having the problem with Street Fighter 2 which is uh, really just called SF2 the actual file name or the ROM name is SF2 so here we are Street Fighter 2 I'll uh, we'll start it up and uh, so you can see what you're talking about here um, so there's a few different ways you can fix this problem actually uh, so The first way may not work. So I'll show you uh, the second way that will definitely work um, So as you can see the window is a bit small for the bezel Let me go ahead and turn that down Alright, so you can see the window is a bit small, it's a problem you're having. Um, the first way you can go about fixing this problem is by clicking on tab on your keyboard. So you, you uh, press tab, go down to video options. Um, you're going to have a few different options here when it comes to the bezel and the uh, aspect ratio, things like that. Sometimes you can just go to full and that will fix the problem for you. However, that's not working on this game. Um, the reason why is because there's a configuration file that MAME is reading that's telling it uh, how to display the game on your screen. So even though you have options here, it's using the config file, which kind of supersedes the options you're seeing right here. So um, you can come here, you can kind of change it around, um, you can remove the bezel, you can kind of change the aspect ratios, things like that. But it's still not really giving us full screen here on Street Fighter 2. I'm just showing you that you can come in here by pressing tab, going to video, and sometimes you can just change that around right here. All right, but it's not working here on Street Fighter 2 because of that config file. So I'll show you how to go ahead and um, resolve the issue. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and close that. What you want to do is go back on your G drive, and we're going to go into the config file folder. So this is G drive. We're going to go into Hyperspin Live. We're going to go back to Emulators, and we'll go to MAME201. Now, in that folder, you're going to see a bunch of subfolders. Um, you should see the CFG or config folder. It's going to have config files for uh, a lot of games in here. Okay. Not every game has a config file. There's a few thousand MAME games. There's only about 700, um, so not everyone has it. But anyway, let's search for the game you're having issues with, uh, Street Fighter 2 in this instance. Um, so I'm just going to open this up with Notepad++ to show you what's inside of it. So this section right here is what's making the video small. Uh, video, the tag, the video tag here. Um, right. So we can see that, you know, it's telling it, hey, there's one overlay, hey, there's one bezel, uh, there's no control panel, there's no marquee, and we don't want any zoom, that's what zero means. However, you can see some information here with the, uh, the offsets, um, that's kind of telling it, hey, how big should this window be? Now, you can do some research, and you can, all, you can start modifying that on your own, but um, I don't do that, so what I do is simply remove the config file. I've already backed them up. What I do is I back up all these files in a different folder, just in case. So back them up first, and then once you back them up, you want to just go ahead and delete. Just go ahead and delete that Street Fighter 2 config. What's going to happen is the next time you start Street Fighter 2, MAME will see that there's no config. It'll use all the default video options and it will create a new generic config which from then on will be the default options it won't it won't be modified to have that small screen 
Um, I think that small screen is meant for certain CRT monitors because I'm not the one that created these config files or the bezels. I'm using something called a bezel project. Um, they have a Facebook group where they're basically creating bezels for every system. So uh, I don't know. I think the config file was meant for a specific kind of monitor um, where it just doesn't display normally on your normal 1080p monitors and so on. Um, so now that Street Fighter 2 is gone, we're going to go back into MAME. We'll just launch Street Fighter 2 and um, get that going. By the way, the reason why I'm using MAME to do this is that it's a bit quicker than going through Hyperspin. So I'm just using MAME directly. But anyway, go ahead and reopen, relaunch Street Fighter 2. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger now because it's not reading that config file that we just removed. So here you go, it's bigger. And we're good to go. Alright, so that should take care of that problem for you. Any game where it's too small, you know, just go in there. Like I said, go to tab first here. Go to your video options and try to change things around here to see if you can get it how you want. Um, if not, then you'll have to just delete that config file, um, which shouldn't be too bad. Alright, when it comes to controls, uh, let's say your, your player 2 controls aren't set up, or even player 1, maybe the buttons aren't to your liking. And that's the thing, I do have... Um, MAME and all the other systems set up for your, your D input or X input controllers, but you may not like the controllers, they may not be your preference. So if you want to change them around, just hit tab. Um, there's two different types of controls that you want to set. Uh, this machine and uh, input general. Input general is kind of like your your default input for every game. If the game board supports those kinds of inputs for instance um light gun games don't really support directional d-pad type inputs so you would have to modify the controls for that machine specifically which i'll show you how but um what you would do like for street fighter let's say hey my player two isn't right or the buttons just aren't how i want them you want to hit your arrow keys go down to input this machine and here you go you're gonna have all of your buttons right here just press enter you know change them around if you want player one jab to be something else strong punch fierce punch if you want it to be something else just go ahead and change them around um, unfortunately I don't have player two set up for this uh, this these kind of games so you can just go ahead and set up your player two how you want it um, one player start is uh, my start but I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller one player start is my start button, and coin one is my uh, the, the share button on the PlayStation controller, or it could be select if you're using uh, like a, a PS3 controller. So you can set those by, once again, uh, pressing tab, coming back to input this machine, and just uh, getting those set up. So what will happen is all the Street Fighter games and fighting games will use those, those inputs. You can also uh, come here to input general and you can set some general controls for every game which I should those should be already set up on your drive um, but like I said if you don't like them you can go ahead and change that to your liking to your preference and that should be it um, so we, we took care of your um, we took care of your issue with controls and your issue with the videos uh, let me know if you have any more questions and I can make more videos for you. Just showing you how to do whatever you need to do. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a good day.